the seven foot aquarium it's coming on you can see the algae really growing on these terracotta pots now I'm not happy with all this plants getting on it seems to be dying off I've got to chop a few parts of that down yeah this one looks a little bit healthier you've got the monastero or monstera plant and the idea is to eventually move it on the back row and have it overhanging the light I get some natural day daylight when I open this this door with the window so I'm hoping that's enough with whatever light is beaming on the side if it gets any of it here's some of the discus I've got a hidden filter you can't see there glass panel filter it's a bit annoying though the way it distributes the uh, the air I don't think I'll be keeping it in this this tank it might go in the fish room instead so what I've done with these, they're just uh, shrimp, uh, shrimp wood, I don't know the name, and I just stood them up in the in the substrate and put the uh, nubius inside so I didn't have to glue them. I've got a few more, I want to scatter a few more out as well, do the same. I've got some logs coming from China, the only thing is they're about 30, 13 centimetre. I don't know whether to glue them together to get more height, but we'll see when we get them what we're going to do. That needs moving, no, it doesn't look right, the way this is done is okay, the fact I put it behind it doesn't look right, so we'll sort that out at a later date. This bamboo is tipped to the side, it's quite a thick layer of substrate at the back, it isn't as, uh, isn't as thick. So, I've got another one there that could stand up or keep it like that, but yeah, not doing too bad, to be honest. Discus have come out of the shell now. We've had them maybe two weeks. One's really peppered that I don't not really like. One's not got that much peppering on, and it's a nicer shape. These are supposed to be snow whites. Only time will tell. We got the Odessa barbs here, still juvenile, getting getting more mature, but still not got the colours yet. So still juveniles, juvenile angels here. Happy days. We've got the glow eye tetra over there. We've got the cardinals over here. I like to stay in the show. The rummy nose tetra. I'm sure it's rummy nose tetra. Um, and yeah, the discus like to hide in the gap of that bioforce filter. And they've got a hide spot there. I was going to close it off, but I'd rather them hide, have a safe place to go should they want to hide, rest. But uh, this tank needs a little bit more going on, but it's not completed yet. It's getting there. Well, I'll give you a visual further back. That's how it's looking. See, the disc has come out now. It's all about taming them. Same with your koi fish. It takes time to get that trust. You'll notice sometimes they don't eat straight away. And if your water parameters are slightly out, they will not eat. The The heating has to be whacked up. I'm at 31 degrees. The water changes are pretty frequent. And most of all, it's about the food. They are, they are suckers for beef art. You can try flake, pellet, but they're not going to come out. I guarantee you, you put the beef art in, you'll get them feeding. See, as I get closer... They may move out the way. So these are the new addition. The rest have been with us for a while. Got these discus from Cheshire Oaks discus. 